Have you ever heard of this piece of paradise on the west coast of Africa? If not, get ready to be amazed by the beautiful island of Sal in Cape Verde. In this video I'll show you what to do, what to eat and where to stay. So sit back, relax and let's discover the paradise of Africa. My name is Jesse and I'm currently on a 6 month sabbatical leave to travel the world and to pursue my passion for videography. As someone with Cape Verdean roots, I was thrilled to partner up with Bobby Was Here to spend an incredible week in Sal to capture the island, its beauties and the various activities. Let's dive in. Let's start off with the beaches. Sal is known for its beautiful beaches that go on for miles, offering plenty of opportunities for relaxation and fun in the sun. Its golden sands are perfect for lounging and the clear waters are great for swimming and trying out water sports like kiteboarding and windsurfing at for example Kite Beach. Santa Maria Beach, located at the south of the island, is a popular choice for tourists and locals alike. I'm sure you will have plenty of fun here. How was the water? The water was great. It was yeah. not that cold. It was uh, amazing. Uh, everything, this, uh, everything is perfect. The vibe. The vibe was great. I was with you. It was amazing. You know, the sun is shining. We're yes. in Capit. We're in Sal. Yes. Yes. This is a piece of paradise that you really need to come explore. Thanks. Thanks. It's the best place on earth. Next to swimming and sunbathing, visitors can work out on the beach, join in on a game of beach volleyball, or play some football under the warm Cape Verdean sun. And the sunsets, wow, these are just simply breathtaking. Have a look for yourself. Sal has plenty parts to explore and an easy way to do this is to do an island tour. Of course you can do this yourself, but I would recommend to take the one from Union Tour with the best guide of the island, Marcelo. During the trip you'll visit various spots such as the capital Sparks, local shops and get to taste the local food and drinks. One of the highlights is Buracana, which is a natural pool with a blue eye effect where sunlight creates a stunning blue reflection on the water resembling an eye. In between, you have some lunch at Kalika, which has great traditional Cape Verdean dishes to try out. <laughs> and what to think about Shark Bay, where the lemon sharks literally come at your feet to get some food. And if you're lucky, you even feel them tingle along your leg. <laughs> Don't worry, just the babies come this close. The bigger ones will stay at a distance. You'll end the trip at the most fun activity of the tour, Salinas in Pedra de Lume. This is a former salt mine where visitors can take a dip in the salt water pools and will literally float on the water. They say the water is great for the skin due to the high salt concentration, so a must visit I would say. Are you feeling hungry? Let's talk about food. What you see here is what we call a chupuk, which is our traditional dish. This is basically made of beans, vegetables, meats, everything. It's put all together in a pan with a stew. And the next day, we actually stir fry it. And then you have a perfect plate with eggs, chorizo, can be fish, can be vegetarian, whatever you want. But this is the most amazing food that we have in Cap Verde. And I can really recommend it to everybody. So if you come to Cap Verde, make sure you get ketchup for it. Doesn't have to be in Cap Verde, but wherever you are in the world. Just ask your Cape Verdean friend. Fish is a fundamental element of Cape Verdean cuisine and culture. And my favorite restaurant to eat this is Esplanada Rotterdam in the fisher town Palmeira. So there's a thing in Cape Verde that we used to eat, which we call perceps. It looks horrible, I don't know if you can see it, but it tastes so good. What you have to do? You break it. Okay, I screwed up. I still get it out. You see? This is the thing. It tastes so good. You have this, yeah, you have it. You break it, you have this. And there you go. It's really good. It looks awful. It looks horrible, but it tastes super good. But you can also just enjoy a fresh grilled tuna, some octopus, or some other types of seafood. And now I want to show you my favorite spot on the island, which is Beach Bar Ola Brasil. It's always crowded and fun. You can order various drinks and cocktails, but for me, it's all about the Taipiri. They make the best I've ever had. Don't forget to try out the pineapple or kiwi Taipiri. It's very affordable and very delicious. Okay, let's talk about some activities. For example, horse riding on the beach in Santa Maria offers an unforgettable experience for nature and animal lovers alike. Not a fan of horses, but still want to drive something else? Well, 
a motor quad could be a great option. At Cabo Quad you can rent a quad yourself or you can join a tour. From the mesmerizing salt mines to the majestic sand dunes and hills, this adventure enables you to witness the natural wonders of Sal up close in a way that may not be possible through conventional transportation. Do you prefer more water-based activities? Well, then you can always rent a jet ski and explore the crystal clear waters of the Atlantic Ocean in a high-speed adventure. <laughs> Don't worry, there will always be a guide with you to ensure your safety. And maybe you'll be even able to spot some flying fishes like we did. While being in Santa Maria, you cannot miss out on the pier. Take a walk, look at the locals preparing fish, or take a jump from the pier yourself. From this location, you can join a sailing trip with Cuba Libre to relax and enjoy the view of the turquoise waters. If you're lucky, you're even able to see some whales. And at the end of the trip, you have some time to snorkel and to explore the underwater world that Cape Verde has to offer. Wondering where to stay? Well, Bobby was here gotcha. This company has over 30 high quality apartments located in prime locations just steps away from the white sandy beaches and the center of Santa Maria. Bobby was here can also help you to arrange activities and will ensure that you will have an unforgettable holiday. Looking more for a hotel? Well, then I can recommend my favorite hotel of the island, Och d'Agua. This place offers a perfect blend of luxury, comfort and relaxation. My favorite part about this hotel is the restaurant, which has great dining options ranging from fresh seafood to national and international cuisine. And the live music just makes the experience complete. They also have buffet evenings with live acts, dancing, and if you want, you can even rock the stage yourself. Well, this was our journey through the island of Sal. I hope you've enjoyed and hopefully you will go explore this paradise of Africa yourself.